This is Alexey and I'm from Ace 5 Studios and today I'm going to be teaching you what up vectors are and why they're useful. I'm going to be using an example of a Canon and a little more modern Canon thing. This could be a security camera, but basically same concept. Um, and I'm going to show you, the different, and you can also use this on eyes, this is important, on forearms. There's a bunch of places where this is useful. So let's get to it. We want to make a controller which controls where this cannon looks. So we have this cannon and we have a plate. Now it's important to notice that on the cannon, we have our rotation, we have our axis point in the right place. If not, turn on your axis tool and move it where it's meant to be. It has to be centered and it has to be around the pivot point. Similarly for the plate, actually look for the plate, it's in the wrong place. I mean, it doesn't matter because it's only going to be rotating around, uh, but better put it, oops, better put it down onto the bottom so it's rotating around this place. Now, if we get our Canon and we go to Cinema 4D tags, no character tags, and we go constraint and we tick aim. Now we've got to look, we want to aim with the green one, right? So the green one is plus Y. If you forget, you can always look down here. See it changes, and let's add a little cube here. Give it a nice white material. And let's get this constraint and target it out of the cube. As you right now, it's okay. And if we move the cube just in these two axes, it works as expected. But if we move it sideways, it kind of does this, and then that's not really how we want it to work, is it? So what we actually want to do is we want to use the up vector. So here we remove this, we don't need the aim at all in this. What we need is we need an up vector. So we press up, as you can see, it kind of goes away. And we've got to figure out which, firstly the up vector and the axis, you have two things here. So the up vector, uh, we want it to be the green one. So that's good, so plus Y. And let's stick our cube in here so we can see what's happening. Maybe it works. And it works. And when we move it left and right, nothing happens. And the axis is here, it's already set by default to plus Z, which is the blue one here, which is like we want it to pivot around that. We want that to be like this. Like it, imagine like a pole stuck through there and it's stuck and it can only move on these two axes. So now when we move the cube, it rotates. But if we move it sideways, it still only goes up and down. It doesn't actually go out of, you know, out of the position. So the next step that we want is we want, I'm guessing you can see it already, is we want the same thing on the platform. So let's go on our platform and let's add a character constraint tag here and press up. And for the up vector, we're gonna put the target as in the minus X. We want the minus X. And the axis is on the green one because we want it to be spinning on the green one. We want like a pole stuck through it, so it just spins on it. So this will be plus Y. And then we drag our little cube in here. And now we move the cube. If we move it left and right, it rotates. Ah, but see, the problem is that we don't have our cannon should be inside the plate. And now when we move it, the cannon rotates and it moves up and down. See, now we have an aiming. And you can use this for spotlights or all kinds of stuff. You know, something hanging from the ceiling, very handy. Why did it suddenly start lagging so much? Just too much subdivisions. Yeah, there, like three on that one. There you go. And now we have a nice animation. I mean, we have a nice rig, so we can aim stuff. There you go, that's a whole three minutes. And you know how up vectors work. Um, now, the next step that we want to, that I want to have a look at is another example of the up vector is in this little thing. Imagine this could be a security camera, basically here, uh, the, cat, the rocket thing, it rotates around its axis. Um, and you could always keyframe it, but if it's following something, that might not be the case. So if we, for example, add here, we need an aim constraint in this one because it's more freeform. So we add a constraint and we press aim and let's get a little cube here. Cube is up here. Scale it down. And we're going to aim at it with the minus Z. So aim plus Z, let's go minus Z and the cube. And this is all good, but the problem is, and it aims on a stick, the problem is if you rotate it, see what happens? It kind of, it goes off, goes upside down and stuff. And this isn't really what you want in animation. 
So this is again where the up vector comes in. So you press on this little thing and you go basic and you add the up vector. And you can leave it by default on Y and it'll kind of hold it, but then you have no control of where it actually looks. It'll always just be going up. But if you add another little cube, let's drag this one over here. Let's call this guy up vector. And we drag, we gotta check which one is the, so we want, we want the up vector to be the plus Y and we want it to be on the Z because we want to prevent the rolling. So we want the up vector plus Y and plus Z. So it's already set up, good. So we plug that in. And now we have this cube, which we can move to tilt it. Also imagine this is an eye with an eyebrow on top. That's also the same rig. And then we have this cube to aim it wherever we want it to look. And there we go. We have up vectors and aim in a nutshell. Hope you liked it. And you know, join me next time for more tutorials. Check out my website, check out my five man, check out my 5J character pack, all cool stuff there. Lots of, also there's the free beefy rig and the free bony rig, you know, go to my website, find it, play with it, show me what you make. Have a good one.